Let's check in now with Alan Nuckman, the Chief Market Strategist at St. Paul Research for some Trader Talk. Hi, Alan. Hello, Angie. Again, the power of positivity. On the dismal day, the Dow managed to finish on the plus side and losses were less than 2% in tech. So let's remember, we want to keep an eye on the percentage, not the points. How are your trades doing? All right, let's talk about our current trades, what we have now. American Airlines and Lumber Liquidators, one's positive, one's negative. We've got about two weeks to go. Those are May expiration. If we look out to the June plays, Verizon is getting close to its po uh, po a positive push here for 100%. Uh, we've got SPWR, uh, SunPower's gone dark, and Uber has earnings. All right, July options. July, again, plenty of time. We're looking at two and a half months. Now, TME has been timid, going nowhere. X yesterday added 8%, looking to test that 27 top and get us to that first 50% profit target. What's your trade of the day? All right, today's trade trigger is snap. A snap back attack is what we're looking for. This stock is up 600%. Again, let me say that again, 600% from the 2020 lows, but it is now 15% off its highs. The highs were made here April 23rd, so just a couple weeks back. So you're seeing a pullback opportunity. This stock is stuck between 50 and 70 now for five full months. That targets 90 on a breakout above those 70 level and new highs. And what we want to do is keep an eye on this 60 level as the midpoint of that sideways channel on a weekly basis to get some bullish signs that we could see a burst. Now the play, again, using an in the money option, a 55 call for July, $55 call, two and a half months time, in the money, it's gonna behave like the stock, when and if we get some upside movement, but the smart money sees something, so I'm jumping on board. How about your trading day takeaways for this first week of May? All right, let's talk trading takeaway number one, tech tacking back. As you can see, I'm kind of an old man by the sea. Well, not really the sea, but sort of. Uh, and so I'm gonna use a little bit of uh, smooth sailing uh, has hit some headwinds here. So tech is tacking back as you sometimes need to backtrack to move forward. So we'll look to see what happens there. They had huge earnings. So right now we're just seeing some profit taking. Number two, Apple bites. Apple had a 5% sell off and it's a big, big component of the NASDAQ and you know of some, most major indexes. So what's interesting to see that's after last week's earnings where they reported $23 billion quarterly profit. So let's see how uh, Apple behaves and pivots around this 130 level. And number three, Focus on the 4th of July. So we had a great first quarter of earnings uh, and the second quarter numbers are after the fourth holiday. So you may see some, uh, some turbulence and some, uh, some storms in the marketplace without the earnings to remind us. Uh, and so the key here is that we're seeing the largest increase in estimates for earnings for that quarter that's coming up since 2002. So, so it should be smooth sailing ahead. Always oh, good to have you here. Thank you, Alan. Thank you. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.